Now, this portion of the interstate has plenty of residents who live nearby and also Miss Katie's Diner, which was on a lockdown of sorts. For that side of the story, let's go live to CBS 58's Carlos Vegara with the stories of the folks who witnessed it all. Amazing stuff, Carlos. Yeah, what a mess this morning, Michelle. Outside the traffic nightmare, we're talking about a financial loss and some bad business for some establishments like Miss Katie's Diner that you see behind me and some tense moments for others. That's just crazy. Jamie Sorella left her apartment at 20th and Clybourne around 8 this morning and couldn't get out of her parking lot due to the massive detours. They cause so much trouble for so many people. I just think it's selfish. Selfish, says Sorella, but a great view of the drama for a pair of Marquette students who witnessed much of the six-hour ordeal from their bird's eye view apartment. So I looked straight in front of me and that's where it was right there. About the same time my eyes met with the SWAT team officer who uh, directed me to get on the other side of the road. Driver, throw the keys out the vehicle. This is probably the most exciting thing I've had happen this year for me. In fact, Keith Sonneveld could hear the police through a bullhorn. I can hear them over the loudspeaker very clearly. There's like, roll down the window and uh, throw your keys out from the vehicle. And of course, he didn't do that. Instead, three police sharpshooters set up feet from where the pair was. I think it would have been a lot, a lot weird if, if they had to take shots at him. Meantime, at Miss Katie's diner around the corner. Well, when we saw the sharpshooters going on the other side of the fence over there, my customers sitting up in front here kind of ducked a little bit. Folks, they're happy it came to a peaceful ending. The sharpshooters never needed. Instead, a sheriff's department robot smashing a window and spraying tear gas inside the SUV. That forced out the occupants who were arrested in dramatic fashion. But it cost Denise Moultra, who relies on the Friday morning breakfast rush. People were trying to come in, but there weren't very many places to park. Of course, now that things are clear, Miss Katie's can focus on their big Friday night rush. We're live in Milwaukee, Carlos Rogero, CBS 58 News. Yeah, just bet what they're talking about. Thank you, Carlos.